Hey everybody, Paul Hummel here at Dream Guitars, and I'm slightly saddened by this Howland guitar today, and only because I have to ship it out right away. This is a custom build for a client who's leaving the country, um, so I only have today to um, get to know this baby, and it's a sweet one. I, I love Gage Howland's work. Um, you probably have heard me say that before. Gage um, been doing his own thing for a long time now, but also before that, apprenticed with Michael Greenfield. And those guitars um, just have this amazing, full, rich sound that I just adore. Um, and this one in particular, this is his DCH model. So it's a big body guitar uh, with a lot of energy and a lot of bass and a lot of everything that you want. Um, it's a moon spruce top, um, which of course is one of my favorites, as you've heard me say, um, harvested in the moon phase to get the most resonant possible wood. Um, I really like the rosette on this one. It's his sort of standard rosette, but this one has just a different hue to it. It's a little bit more grayish blue, just um, really, really suits the guitar well. Um, I always love his um, string through bridge, so that just strings come in through the end. There's no pins, and it just works really great. And a nice wide saddle for good intonation. As someone who plays on ultra tunings, I really like a wide saddle. Deep cutaway. And then you've noticed it's got a multi-scale design here. So we've got 25.4 on the top and 26 on the base. And this again was custom built for a client. And this client plays particular traditional Thai music from Thailand. So he needed a guitar that he could put in some very strange tuning. So we chose 25.4 and 26. Um, and Gage was of course happy to make an instrument. And we were, totally love building custom instruments um, for all y'all. And if you, um, need something particular because you're playing different tunings or you have a different, you know, ergonomic needs, that's totally the right time to do custom. So just give me a call. We have more slots with Gage and he really enjoys custom projects. Um, we have a really nice big armrest bevel here. So the Alaskan style bevel, which is just awesome. And there's a matching one for the ribs. So this guitar, when I first grabbed it, I was like, whoa, it's, it really makes a difference if you've never played a guitar with bevels, especially a larger guitar. It's not as important to me on a smaller body, but on big body guitars, it's awesome. It just makes the holding so much easier and you don't get that red line that you get after all your hours of playing. Um, beautiful fretwork here. The fret ends are spherically um, finished and, and very, very comfortable and soft to, to the fingers. Of course, his gorgeous headstock, Godot tuners, and a mahogany neck. And then we've got here, this is another great chance for me to show off to you what Wenge can do. Wenge is this great wood that we're seeing more and more of, and perhaps you have seen some here on our site, um, because it's very sustainable. Um, it's beautifully quarter sawed. It's very strong and um, tough. And, you know, I never hear about it really cracking or anything, like some of the problems we have with Brazilian. Um, it's just a great wood. And it sounds marvelous, as you'll hear here. I think what I hear in Wenge, and now that I've had numerous guitars with it, I'm convinced that it's the wood um, adding this beautiful depth and low mid-range and complexity to the sound that we get out of Brazilian um, as well and Coco Bolo and Madagascar. It has a lot of those same qualities to me. And also the weight of the trebles, the treble notes being sort of have a nice round attack and being full, I think Wenge helps support that as well. You know, a lot of that's the top also, and of course the, the builder's magic, let's not forget the builder's hands and their chisels. But um, I think Wenge is just a great wood. I think we're gonna see more and more of it and I'm glad because it sounds great and it is sustainable. So it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, thank you Gage for building an amazing instrument and I hope you all enjoy it. I'm playing an original piece here for you in a C9 tuning today because this is the longer scale. So I'm down to C, G, C, C, G, D. I'm sorry, C, G, C, G, C, D. Six strings actually. Thanks y'all, see ya.